model subtraction using regrouping with base 10 blocks. And the question I'm going to work out uh, using this method is 45 minus 18. So what I'm going to ask the children to do is I'm going to get them to model 45 using the base 10 blocks. So they would know that 45 would mean that they would have four rods and they would have five units. I'm going to ask them to take away 18 from what they already have there. They should know that when you try to take 8 away from 5, you can't do that. So what I would do is I would have to regroup, trade in one rod, because I'm using it, it's no longer going to be, going to be there or counted. I'm going to break it down into 10 units. One rod always equals 10 units. Now, saying that, I should be able to now subtract 18 from 45 without any problems. I know I need to take away 8 of the units, so I'm going to take away 5, 6, 7, 8 units. Okay, so we don't count those. And I'm going to take away one rod to make 18. We don't, don't count those. And what's left over is going to be what our answer would be. So our answer would be two rods and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. And I do sometimes get them to show their work, the written part, just so they know uh, the written, they have a written understanding of solving that equation as well. So we'll look and we'll say 5 take away 8. We know we can't do that. So we're going to have to borrow, and I always refer back to what you do with your base 10 box. We're going to now make this a 3 because we've used that's the, the rod that we took out, broke down, and this now becomes 15. Some kids like to write 15 up there, cross that out. That's fine as well, whatever their style is. So now I look and I say, so now you have 15 take away 8. Can you do that? Yes, you can. 15 minus 8 is 7. And now we have the remaining 3. And we do 3 minus 1, and that equals 2, and that's 27. Those answers both match. The student will know that, that, uh, that they have the right answer.